Understanding Termite Species, a guide for English language learners. Hello and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore the phrase, termite species. This topic is not just about vocabulary, but also about understanding a bit of science. Stay with us as we dive into the fascinating world of termites and learn how this phrase is used in English. Termite species is a compound noun. A compound noun is a noun that is made up of two or more words. The first word, termite, refers to a small, pale soft-bodied insect that lives in large colonies. The second word, species, is a biology term that refers to a group of living organisms consisting of similar individuals capable of exchanging genes or interbreeding. Termites are interesting creatures. They are known for their ability to consume wood, causing damage to wooden structures and trees. But termites are also important in nature. They break down tough plant fibers, recycling dead and decaying trees. This section will delve into the role termites play in the ecosystem, helping you understand why the study of different termite species is significant. There are about 2,800 different species of termites in the world. Each species has its own unique characteristics and behaviors. Some species are notorious for damaging human structures, while others are beneficial to forest ecosystems. In this section, we will explore a few examples of termite species, such as the subterranean termites, dampwood termites, and drywood termites, emphasizing their unique traits. In everyday English, the phrase termite species might not be commonly used unless discussing biology or pest control. However, Understanding this phrase is crucial for specific fields like entomology, the study of insects, ecology, and even in real estate or home maintenance contexts. We will provide examples of sentences where this phrase is used, enhancing your understanding of its practical application. We hope this video has enlightened you about the term, termite species and broadened your vocabulary and knowledge of the natural world. Remember, learning English can also be a journey through different subjects and fields of study. Thank you for watching, and keep exploring the wonderful world of English.